is a prayer of the Bangladesh and the Australian in Espanol. He is a man. I am very happy to be with you and to uh, give a testimony about the love of Sacred Heart, but I have to tell you that I will be sex. First of all, to Alicia, because uh, through his testimony, through her life, through her testimony, through her life, I understood that I didn't know the Sacred Heart of Jesus was in 2006, and uh, I been told by testimony and I would like to do sex also to Gabriel and uh, Linda who have invited us uh, to come last year in uh, Monterey and also in Congo uh, and Mexico, Mexico and to uh, let uh, the company a platform so then we saw I saw how the sacred art is not only for my conversion, personal, personal conversion, it's also for our families, it's also for the parish, for the community, for the diocese, and also for the countries. But so, uh, Abelardo and Linda, and uh, Alfonso and uh, his wife, and Carmen, uh, I understood how the Sacretan wants to work a lot in the companies. Even in Europe, I am living, I am French, uh, I am living in Brussels, my diocese is uh, Brussels, Mexico in Brussels. I have been ordained uh, already 29 years ago, and uh, it's a great place to increase, but uh, as I tell, as I told to the Pope when I visited him in uh, 2016, I say I am the most happy priest because I am spread out the love of the Sacred Heart. And really it's uh, so wonderful because we can't give anything that we don't have, if we don't have received before. And uh, what we have now with Alicia and what I have in my heart, I hope a greater love of the Sacred Heart. And I would like that the fire of the, the love of God could come more and more in, uh, in, in your hearts. And you know how Don Bosco had a so great love of the Sacred Heart. I learned that I have been told by Alicia. And in front of the relics now, very good welcome in this church, in the arms of the Sacred Heart and the Heart of Jesus. I was thinking about the word of the Don Bosco. He said, what could, I tell, what could I make to you, O Sacred Heart of Jesus, today? And it was very interesting to give pleasure to the Sacred Heart at every time. And uh, I realized how we lost a lot this treasure in the, in the church and in the world. And that's why our testimony with Alicia is this, and the title of the testimony is The Sacred Heart More Than Ever Is For Now. It's not for yesterday, it's for now. We could say it's for tomorrow, but if we have we have ten that it's for tomorrow, we are waiting, I don't know for what. No. The Sacred Heart more than ever is for now, and we need Him, and He, He begs, He begs our love, He thirsts, He thirsts of our love, He wants our yes to Him, He wants our love for Him. Even if the world don't, doesn't like the Sacred Heart, you are here to give him love for love to the Sacred Heart. And we don't have to wait for better time to answer to the love of God. And that's why I'm very happy to understand that then we shall leave the consecration.
through the circuit of today, on the 10th of July. And it's today, it's got to go. And only for today we can consecrate ourselves. We can consecrate our families. We can consecrate also, why not, our companies. It could be a negotiator, it could be a, a business, small business or big business. But you can consecrate to the sacred heart all what you are responsible in your life. Yes, I, I would like to tell you, I would like to share, I have to share with you how in a family is uh, providential to be here. I couldn't be here in front of you without the testimony of this. I couldn't be in front of you with the mission set by my bishop. And in 2010, because before I had been a rector of the sanctuary of Paris Le Monial. I don't know if you know Paris Le Monial, but it's a city in France where there is a convent of the sisters of the visitation. And Jesus appeared to Saint Mary Mary Anacom in this town in France. In France, you have to know how I am a miracle of the Sacred Heart because I went everywhere during 30 years, almost one week or one month, 30 years, and I wanted to approach me of the Sacred Heart, but the people told me, yes, we want to. The Sacred Heart is a good spirituality, it's Catholic, but it's old-fashioned. We need to actualize, we have to make new this spirituality. And uh, as rector, I began with this idea. And I decided to change the images of the Sacred Heart. I wanted to change the vocabulary of the message of Jesus to Mary and Mary. But it's very crazy. Thanks God. I didn't change anything in the heart of Jesus. Jesus changed my heart. I understood that I couldn't change the images, the pictures of the Sacred Heart. Each of us we have a story with an image of the Sacred Heart. Each one of us, we have a story in a house with a statue or an image of the Sacred Heart. And uh, I have been rector from 2001 to 2009. And in 2005, I received a, a phone call of Alicia to bring the official reliquary to El Salvador because myself I, I, I start to travel with the reliquary official of Mary Mary in Europe but it was, it was more to travel than to make known Mary Mary and I discovered that Jesus knows how to do with me and he knows how to do with you. <laughs> Extraordinary. And he is calling us to be disciples of the, of the Sacred Heart. And uh, in 2005 she called me and uh, at this time I said yes to Alicia. And finally I understood that I had to pray on the law of the Sacred Heart. In 2009 I stopped my mission. It was a the end of the mission of rector in Paris Le Monial. And uh, I went up to my diocese and my bishop gave me one week per month to spread out the spirituality of the Sacred Heart, to awake in the people the love to the Sacred Heart. And that's why I am here because my bishop gives me seven days. Ah, hello, hello. But, but, but when I am very far from my country, I ask you the more. 
10 days. And so I am very happy to be among you. And now, to give the, the opportunity to Alicia to give the testimony about how she transformed, finally, she transformed my, my heart, but not only how she uh, gave the opportunity for many people from many countries to consecrate themselves to the Sacred Heart. And that's why we are very happy to welcome her. And we can pray if you want. We can pray like the Hail Mary to prepare ourselves to hear this testimony. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, Mother, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Exactly what is a but I know I'm not 
praying to start the time. And what can you see? Before she prayed, she flew back. But after she finished the novena, I see she's happy. She's in trust. She's in hope. And of course, she tried to pray to the second because she finds a way to give us to eat, uh, store things and everything. So when I was 16 years old, my mother decided to send me to France to learn French for one year. And after I need to go, she told me to go to England for two years to learn English. So before I was afraid to go to Paris, that by obedience, of course, I go. But when I arrive in France and I see Paris, I love, I was in love in Paris. I said, oh, how beautiful is Paris. And I, I can stay here for all my life. But you know, now I understand. Why I said that? The first time when I arrived to France, I forgot the second time. Why? Because I am not seeing anymore in the houses. This big match finished, not in France. And when I, when I arrived to France, nobody in the Salvador, everybody speaks about young the whole day. You know, for example, thank you God. Maybe I want to go somewhere if the wants. So in a very simple way, we speak the whole day about our faith in God. But when I arrived in France, nobody speak about God in this society. And the lady of the family where I be, she understood me to speak about God. And she told me, Alicia, if you want to be like the French people, I need to undertake, uh, like uh, take the future of the French people, I don't need to speak about God. And she told me, you don't need to speak about God in society because you need to respect the people who doesn't believe in God.
way to be strong, to continue, to give you love. So, once, why I'm going to start to make a mission, I never think in my life I got a mission for the second part. But, in France, you know, I, when I forget the second part, one day I was in my parish, and people from the last city of the second part came to my parish, and they said, oh, please, if somebody wants to help in the Basilica, uh, up there, your hand. And I said, I'm going to come here. So after they said, okay, you need to talk to the Basilica, and you're going to have a speech for um, one piece to teach us to help the people in the Basilica. So I went there. And when the priest speak about the cycle power, in a very simple way, half an hour, I was so in touch. And immediately, I understand my story of my life is together, always with the cycle power. So I started to go to adoration in the Basilic. One, normally I need to go one hour per month. So I started to go one hour per month after two hours and I finished to go every day to make the adoration in the city. I met my husband. I came from a very Catholic family. My husband came from very Thank you. 
photographs, we have an image with we pass like that and don't say nothing to you. From today, if you have an image of the sacrifice, never forget to give you, to tell me in the morning, I want you. Talk with me to my job. Talk with me for children to my school. Thank you, Sacrifice Jesus for your love. Little things you can do, really can you can make him happy. After he can take you into his heart and send you and bring you to the holy. So don't forget to do that. So I always say, I know you are beautiful. And when the coach of all the second guys, 2 April 2005. The 3 April 2005, the, uh, the day after his life, I am going with my husband to this kind of self-led program. I don't want to go because I'm very sad because I love so much the culture of the sector because for me it was a second father that I regard give me. Because I understand for the young people in Europe, very difficult to make a testimony, give a testimony about their faith. And the Pope John, John Paul uh, II tells us, don't be afraid, don't forget, speak about God. So for me, when he does, I'm very sad. The 3 April 2005, Sunday of the Divine Mercy. I go to this kind of cell and for me for a miraculous way. I go to a home in the city hall. There is people selling a lot of things. But when I arrive to the home, after I pass the door, immediately in the end of the book, I see this little frame put in one table. And when I see this little frame, I was, uh, I think something like a dog, dog, dog. You need to go to see what's the little frame. So I walk immediately, I don't see nothing around. And when I arrive, and take the little frame in my hands. I was so happy because there is an image of the cycle card here. So I said to Jesus, Oh, you asked me to come here because you want I invite you and I send and I send you home to my own I invite and I have this heart again to go to my home. But immediately, I see right here some other very other talk. And I ask to the lady who said, Why is right some other very other And the lady said, Because it's a relic of some other very When she said that, I was in place and I said to Jesus, come on, why I invite this lady the day of the Imagine City, after they died the, the portrait from the center, I was so impressed. I just said to buy it before I was afraid that the lady would take it somewhere. But immediately I be very clear that this woman came from a very Catholic family, but he was a lot girl. And that's why he, she said the lady. I buy it, but when I get home, I think, come on, Alyssa, it's not an authentic really. Why you don't have? You don't find today. I think it was a lot of credit in this town about Paris. So I decided.
decide to search if the reliquary is authentic or not. Of course, it's authentic. It's a first degree, first class, first half of reliquos and reliquary. You have a little one apart of God here. But this, I know it goes after a while. Before Jesus prayed me and teach me many things about him. Because I know many stories about the second time. Um, I mean, all that I know, he teach me. And I decided to look around this is something. One day, I called the corporate of the visitation in Padre Royal. And I asked to the sister if they have archives about the relic of San Marino. And she said, no, we don't have. And I said, oh, I never go to know. But why I started to understand that this is authentic? Because the red stamps that you have behind is that is monastery of the visitation in Paraguay and so forth. Of course, for me, I think some library may believe that. So does Norma. The stamp is authentic between the Paraguay and to say that Salim relief of some other way. But of course, I have the confirmation that the relief are authentic. The woman I speak with this sister, she told me that the relics, the big relicary of some other man in Barcelona, is traveled one week to Argentina. And when I missed that, I said, I want to bring it to somebody. But it's not easy, because I never, when I come to France, I go just one time in the summer. So for me, it's not normal to go every time to El Salvador, and of course, it's not normal that I bring the relief of some other memory, but I start to like that. And immediately, I start to be really clear that what Jesus wants. And I understand, for example, that the love that I see when I was children to the cycle of having my country is going down. And I understand and I said to this, okay, you don't want to lose the other people. You want people to say to the people how it's important to love the second And we started to go to El Salvador, Mexico. Immediately I understand that he wants to go everywhere to say to the world, I love you. And to ask the people, please, we can give this my love. And I know the second part changed my life, changed everything. And now we think everywhere that this is a spirituality of the grandmothers. Now, more than before, is for everybody. And the young people understand because the young people is looking for a lot of what they find. I don't know here, but they have so many difficulties in the family. In Europe, a lot of parents divorce. There is no job for the young people. They don't have a hope because they forgot to go to. So they need to know that somebody loves him for free and he loves him for real love, amazing love. So when we started to, to go, imagine for me, because I don't explain what I am, but when I find this very tragic, I couldn't walk because I have a big problem with my back. I am not uh, poor. I have where to live, everything to eat, wherever that I can have. I wanted to travel with a very, very somewhere. And we never ask, when we go to mission, we never ask money. If 
the people give us, of course, we are very happy because we need to pay details and food and whatever. But never we ask for money. If somebody said, oh, maybe you can come to my city or my country, and we said, yes, of course. And we said, oh, but how many do we need to pay? I say, every time. We have to call Jesus Christ. We have 18 years struggling a lot. 32, 33 countries. And all the time, somebody helps us. There is a very potential mission. That's the first thing because I know is from God. It's not a number. I don't decide to be a missionary. I don't have the help to do it. It's difficult for me. I don't have any studies about uh, theology or the second part. It's just my experience. This simple joy that St. John Bosco has and my grandmother and my mother teach me to love them with all my heart in a very simple way. And they came to make in our lives the beautiful things that the Son of God can make. So, we got to be a nice and long. Uh, Father Marlon, before we tell you, he goes to know about the second half. Then the second half changed completely his heart. So, we go everywhere. I decide where we're going to go. I never asked to somebody, oh, please, Father, can I come to your parish? No. If we do that, it doesn't work. It's always Jesus who shoots where we can go. You think today is not anywhere near? No, it's not. He invites you. How many people doesn't have, doesn't find in the world who said, oh, I can the bus and the bus have a problem. So I go down the bus, I get to the church, and we give her testimony. And my heart is changed. Always is holiness. Why we are offended? Yeah. 
have some days in the about, about the first big day of the night. And they said, it's okay, we're gonna organize a concert. We are here. And we are here because I understand. I see your heart, your simplicity. How Philippine stayed here. Yesterday he was in a parish in Magete. And it's four people in the parish. But the baby is looking around all the countries to say to the people, don't believe in God, don't love God. We have very bad television, I don't know here, but the Catholicism in Philippines can change. For example, in my country, it was so sad because the most, the religion most important is no more the Catholic religion. But I know the second part can change. Why? Because, like I told you, friends in Europe, even in another countries, it's difficult to say, I'm Catholic to come and believe. You know, this faith does not always go back. We need to go. When you have around you the people who don't believe, or you go to the church, like yes, I go to the church, then you need to have a wake up. And that's our job in this mission to tell you don't sleep. Because the new technique of the demon or devil is to make us sleep. And we cannot do it. But by ourselves, we didn't realize that with the love to the southern part, we are waiting. We believe in somebody so powerful. We forgot that. In how many houses here we have to mention the second part? Do you have the image of the second part? How many people have? Yeah? It's not everybody. So today we bring you a gift that one from company gives free to give to people in mean, the Philippines. An image of the second part because the second part asks you, please. If you want to put this again in your houses, in an important place, not in a book, have fear the match. Everybody when they come to your house can see this Can see he's the king of your family. He's the king of all. This idea is not mine. I have given the inspiration to ask back to the people. And first of all, I said to Jesus, that where I can find the image? In all the countries, somebody made the image for everybody. We don't settle because we stay in the idea don't use an argument of the second part to get the money for us. So in every country somebody paid the match. And for example in El Salvador, we already give 140,000 140,000 match in my country. So bring it to your home. Please, if you need one for your neighbor, one for your son, one for your daughter, please thank you. Explain to everybody that the sad part of Jesus goes in life. He's still alive. He's still near in all my life. So you have in the image 
behind the image, do you have the close expression to the second time that Mario made right? And you have the promises that the second time makes to all the people who could not never make the image in their houses. So, for the people who said, I have an image of the second part, I want to ask you something. How many times when you pass in front of the image, you tell me, I trust in you. I love you. So, from today, everybody was paid, wake up. And everyone to me, to the second part, to say, to tell him, I need you, I hope in you, I love you. Don't forget, if you have children, if you are a mother and you have the little boy still yet, teach them before they pass in front of this image. Tell them, say hello to Jesus. Say hello to the Son of the Lord. It's very easy. You don't ask the children to read ten books to say, I love you to the second part. Please, all the things with the spirit of the second part are very simple. Because when we speak about him, he gives the graces to make us strong to teach something so important for the families. Consecrate your families to the same Your houses. You know, we are in a world, we don't know what's gonna happen, maybe one day, to where they go home, or whatever, and we finish, and or somebody goes on, or whatever. We don't mind who is it. But life can change very good in the world now. So, bring the second one like a beautiful thing that we have today. And say thank you because you invite me to understand that she is to go forward and near our life. So, take it, I'll be calling your post to you that we can consecration together. No, now I think uh, you really nice after the communion. But when you read the consecration, tell about our Lord. If I understand, uh, ladies up here, pray a lot and it's a group, introduce the sacred part of your prayers. You need to tell the Lord things. Just a beautiful prayer. Little one, Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust in you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I love you. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I hope in you. That's very good. But I promise you that He will change your life. So let it know in all Filipinas. Okay, here we are maybe at an old mother or I don't know how many people. Please. Be the ambassadors of the sacrifice. Speak around you, to your family, to your neighbors. Do you know I mentioned the sacrifice? You know the sacrifice? No. It's so important to have an image of the sacrifice. Where I can find an image? Please, don't forget, you came here so the people here, they can have one phone to us that they can give the image free. For the people, so we can find a way to do that. But please don't say, oh, we're well, not going to find an image. Make it real. In, 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 by internet. It's not important, it's not so beautiful. The thing that is going to need to be beautiful is with the love that people are going to put this image in their houses. Little one, little one, big one. It doesn't matter. But see, today is a special day in your life. And I 
we should. And I tell you, you know, when we go to mission, we said, we know it's not like love missions. It's something, it's not our mission to the Father Mother. It's not a matter of marriage because she's, she's also like to be the important people. Another thing is just interested to send us to bring us to the South Africa. So today we can be the ambassadors of the South Africa of the Philippines. Maybe you want to say, oh, Philippines, we have to, I don't know really, probably how many thousand people. First of all, we are two in the And imagine how are uh, millions of people in the world who bring again to the love of the Sacred Heart. So you are confident Philippine needs to burn of the love of the Sacred Heart. And I said always our mission is not we said, oh that is beautiful, let's speak uh, to the Sacred Heart. No, our mission is the importance is you think after the mass, after the speech, what I can do for the Sacred Heart? Like Don Bosco in Barcelona. He doesn't have nothing. Nothing, nothing. And his only thinking is what I can do for the Sacred Heart. So that's going to be your question today. How can I do? What can I do for the love of the Sacred Heart? And I told you, if you see you again, I'm sure your testimonies about what the Sacred Heart can make in your life as a Philippine can be beautiful. You don't have any excuse. You can say, oh, I'm sick, I'm too. Oh, I don't know. It's the same for the second time, just in order to be able to do something for you. And he will help you. So thank you so much to be here. Thank you so much because I know you can understand that he is here. So do something. And thank you for the suggestions to give the place that St. John was for before I give the open side to the sacrifice. So we do the same. We are not here by chance. We are here because love God loves you. God loves you. And the sacrifice want to be again the king in the salvation uh, community. Since the association we want to be the king of Philippines, so give me this, this chance. Thank you very much.